Hi everyone. Today I'd like to walk through a quick, simple migration from Microsoft SQL Server to PostgreSQL database using iSpire Toolkit. This direction is well developed in our software, so it easily transforms SQL business logic, including triggers, functions, stored procedures, indexes, and views. You can give it a try by requesting a free demo license or learn more by following the links to the iSpire website in the description. Now let's start our Microsoft SQL Server to PostgreSQL database migration walkthrough with iSpire SQL Ways Wizard. The tool included to iSpire Toolkit and designed to manage the database migration process. First, I need to provide the main project directory and export directory that will be an intermediate repository for the entire migration process and store all the auto-generated files, such as SQL files with converted code, TXT files with data, BAT, or SH files. To get started, I need to tune the ODBC DSN for Microsoft SQL Server. I set it up beforehand and specify it on the Source Options page. Then I provide a user and password with the appropriate permissions to perform queries from the Microsoft SQL Server database system tables. Following that, on the Target Options page I select PostgreSQL database as a target database from the list. Besides, I need to provide other credentials, such as host name, port number, database name, user, and password for PostgreSQL to support definitions and data loading, using the psql.exe utility. Further, SQL Ways Wizard displays in a tree view all the objects that it manages to extract from SQL Server. Here I select all the objects I need to migrate. After that, you can specify various options that will help you customize the SQL Server to PostgreSQL database migration. For example, an option that controls schema name or data type migration. Now on the summary page you can see all the migration settings that have been adjusted, as well as the command line at the bottom. There is also a possibility to schedule the migration in command line mode if needed. The entire process of migrating SQL Server to PostgreSQL database is performed in two phases, conversion and import. The import phase can start automatically right after the conversion phase, or they can be launched separately from each other. If you find this video helpful, support us by clicking subscribe, like, and share this video with people who might benefit from it when migrating SQL Server to PostgreSQL. The migration is complete, and now I can view all the generated files in the export directory by clicking the View Results button, which opens a folder with all the migration results along with the log files. At the final stage, on the corresponding tabs I can view the summary, conversion, and import reports and statistics. After clicking the Finish button, the migration configuration will be saved for future launches, and SQL Ways Wizard will be closed. Now I'm gonna show you an example of a procedure in SQL Server and a converted object in the PostgreSQL database. The procedure includes representative statements, such as the if-then construction, while loop, exceptions, DML statements, and cursor usage. Let's call this procedure from our Microsoft SQL Server database. I see that it returned some data. Now I'm going to execute the converted procedure in PostgreSQL database. I see that the data returned by the procedure is the same. The converted procedure works correctly. iSpire Toolkit is a fast, easy, and reliable way to migrate with minimal downtime to the PostgreSQL database. Now it's your turn to give it a try. You can get started by requesting a free demo license for the toolkit or learn more by following the links in the description. Thanks for watching.